There is a great power in life that most people don't realize they have. It is the power to release the past, to get free of it. This is paraphrased, but Jesus said, let all your words be yes, yes, or no, no. That you have the power to say yes to that that you want in life and no to that that you no longer want in your life. With God's help, and it does take God's help, you can release your past and you can live fully and completely in the now. You're not like Scrooge where you are chained to the past, pulling your chains into the now, experiencing the presence with the weight of the past. You have the power to release this. You accept this today as true for you. Now that's a beginning step. And then you ask God's help with everything inside of you to let you cut the cord, cut the chain, and release the past. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, it says, So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. That means you are no longer who you were. One of the things that I always said in my seminars is I'd ask people how old they think they are. And they'd say, you know, like uh, 70 years old or, or 50 years old, 40 years old. I'd say, no, you're each seven. And that is a medical fact that every cell in the physical body changes, renews, transforms, regenerates every seven years. So you are literally seven years of age. Anything that happened past then in your life, you weren't even alive for. It was another person that was there, not you. And please realize this, that you have the power to move on that you don't have to be defined by the pain that happened to you once upon a time. I often tell the story of a person that came to my office crying violently, and, and this was, I believe, 1998, and she uh, was inconsolable. And finally, Half an hour, maybe an hour later, I asked her, well, when did this happen? Thinking it was a few hours before. And she said, and I'll never forget it, she said 1957. She had lived with this as a nightmare every year since 1957. And together we prayed that she would be able to release this and that she would become a new creature in Christ. God's presence is in your life. You don't have to relive like a tape recorder, rewinding and replaying and each time becoming louder in its replay. You don't have to Do this. You can release the past rather than reliving it constantly. The past can't control your life because you release it now. With every part of you realizing that you have God's help to do it. Holding on to hurtful memories would take you down a road that leads nowhere that leads to dead ends. So, with God's help, choose a new direction. Turn from the nowhere destination to live in the here and now, fully and completely. And give prayerful attention to thinking positively 
and focusing with God's help in the present moment and your present life and who you are now. Today is a new day, a day in which you discard the, the baggage of the old habits, the old limitations that were in your life. You start anew with God. And through divine guidance, you take control of your life fully. You're open and you're receptive to all the goodness of God and all that God has to offer you. And the only way that you can accept all that God has to offer you is to release your past and to become a new creature in Christ and to give yourself what God has been pleading with you to give yourself to live in the now, fully and completely, unchained and free. I pray you do so. God bless you.